So is it climax time? This this was a big build up. My journey has finally come to an end. Destiny shifted its course from the instant I held the red stone. With these hands, I have taken the lives of many innocent people. And what was it that I tried to achieve? I can't remember anything anymore. That girl, Kreia, was waiting for you. She was fighting for both you and your father. Take a look. Ooh. <laughs> you can't run from me. There's no way you can defeat a professional such as I. Lower that thing. You could have lived if you would have just given me the stone to begin with. You people don't know how terrifying my grandfather can be. <laughs> I couldn't care less. He's offering to pay me a great sum of money for that stone of yours. That's enough talking. It'll all be over quickly. You people will die like the rest. That's enough. Die. What the? Oh. Lucky break? That took him the hell out. Oh, and now we're here. What's going on here? Oh. Oh, it's you again. Did I just pick up just pick up the bullet? What are you doing here? Did that reset the timer? Such a strange man. He seemed to appear out of nowhere. Not the timer, I mean the timeline. I finally got the blue stone back again, but we must run. Because the gun's not loaded now, right? Because he ends up with it? <laughs> you can't run from me. Oh, you have company. 
Whatever. I could kill the both of you just as easy. You could have lived if I could have- you would have just given me the stone to begin with. You people don't know how terrifying my grandfather can be. Heh. <laughs> I couldn't care less. He's offering to pay me a great sum of money for that stone of yours. That's enough talking, and it'll be over quickly. I'll take care of him. Run away, quickly. Go now. I won't allow. Wh what the? Wake up. Are you awake? Good. You don't seem to be injured. Hurry, we must run. Damn. Damn it. No. Bullets. Didn't have to necessarily spell that one out. <laughs> Stop right there. There's more? Such a miserable woman, living a cursed life from the day you were born. Your companion has nothing to do with you, right? I'll spare him if you just hand me that stone. I have no choice. Such an obedient girl. I can't imagine you to be William's granddaughter. Look how big that gun is! I'm sorry, but as a perfectionist, it's hard for me to leave evidence. What are you doing? Leave him alone! He has nothing to do with this! Not to worry, my little sweet. I'll send him to you in heaven. Damn- damn it, get out of my way! What are you doing? No! She got destroyed. She went from getting shot once to getting shot so many times. I didn't save her at all, I just got the stone. Not just got the stone, obviously that's important, but I definitely did not save her. Are you alive? Cause that looks not good. He's dead. Well. That's you, right? There's so many pages. A medium. We haven't seen the old man for a while. William Rockwell. Uh, jury's out a little bit. I think that's him. That could be wrong. An oh, we can go to the engine room. That's a big deal. There is a table. Now I'm looking at this. There's a broken crystal ball. You're not the medium, are you? Is the medium dead? Having a list of names would be handy, probably, to click on. No. It's hard to tell if he's somebody that's just, like, in a worse state or not. I would definitely like to have a completion list in this game. Wait, was that him? Thomas? No, that's the... the that's the doctor. It'd be, not, it'd be good to have confirmation of whether or not I've saved people or not. There's so many people. So many people. William Rockwell. Yep, there we go. The man in the underground cemetery. The man responsible for killing the woman in the grave. Obtain another soul. I wonder what he meant. Yeah, that's very clearly him.
So we can go to the engine room uh, now. And we're also going to want to probably hand in the rest of my things to the medium. The medium gave off some villain vibes at the beginning of the game, so I wasn't sure if I should trust him because I've played other games by this company where, where NPCs betray you. But at this point, I think that's kind of out the window. It's probably fine. Which reminds me, I need to... I have 10 to hand in, okay. Wow. I've gotten a lot done since the last time I visited him, which feels like it wasn't that long ago. I guess it's just a lot of people. So two goals. Find my way to the engine room again. Which admittedly, my internal map, of my mental map of this place isn't great. But then also visit the medium again. There we go. I wanted to find one of these. Nope, not the, not the red book. It's glory and loosely and condescent! It won't be the last game where we kind of pray to sun imagery. So, you've come. You're leaving? Well, then have a good journey. Hmm. I may want to do like a. Return. Like a sweep? To see if I forgot anybody? God, it's hard to remember. Ah, it's a good thing I took a look around. I almost forgot about you. What well, did? My father. His soul finally rests in peace. I too shall rest now. Hmm. It was tempting to accept that too. 25, nice round number. But there's number 26. All right. The funny thing is, it's like it's like the last place I checked because I've gone like all throughout the ship. But what the put when I started my search, I'd already walked past the person I was missing. Is anyone else left? I don't. I, I hope. Oh God. I'm hoping not because I tried really hard to look around. Here's the question: Can I find the engine room? <laughs> uh, that's the final room. This is the rest of the ship. I sometimes do a really good job at building a map of how areas connect to each other in a game and other times I don't. And sometimes you can kind of interrogate the presentation of the game and how its layout is shown as part of the reason. But also on top of that, there's an aspect of like your perspective and how well you consume information and how, and how well it's exposed to you. This claustrophobic first-person view on a 4x3 and everything with the slow moving and everything doesn't do the game a ton of favors. But also the game's sort of chapter-based, it fe almost feels like. like. There's very much like segments where you play in a particular zone. Like, I think the only reason I'm able to get back here is because I basically just came from here. Oh god, is this not the right place? I was about to flourish reveal. Haha, <laughs> I found it. But am I... Shit. I didn't end up where I thought I was going to end up as I was talking. I was thinking, like, it's going to be really funny how I'm t if I'm talking about how hard it is to get around and then I get, as I walk exactly to the spot. But I guess I just made my point, because that's not where I thought that staircase went. But yeah, like, each individual section, I have a good idea of how it fits together. Like, you put me in the area with the drunks, and I'm like, ah, here's how you get to the drunks, and here's how you get to the, the various rooms around there, and, like, the room there with the vent you climb through, like, it's Goldeneye. And you put me, you put me at the bottom of the ship, and I know how to get around at the bottom of the ship. You put me on this section of the area from the beginning, and I know how to get around here. But, uh, because it, unlike Resident Evil, for example, traversing between these areas is not very important most of the time. I'm definitely struggling figuring out how do they connect most of the time. But here we are. We're, we're now at the bottom of the ship, at least. I found the correct staircase, because there's multiple staircases that look similar, but lead to different places completely. It's a bit of a struggle. There is a map. But the map has some limitations. 
can't really go around on the map. And uh, if you have, if you're navigating an area that has distinctly shaped hallways and whatnot, then it can be helpful. But other times it can be very unhelpful. I think I would estimate that it's more helpful here on on this floor than it is on the floor I was just on. Because the main floor is just so many similar box-shaped rooms conjoined by some hallways. And sometimes just conjoined by the rooms having doors to each other. This area is a little more memorable and it has the uh... <clears throat> it has this box-shaped hallway that goes around the central area with the engine room and everything. And like you can kind of tell where stuff is, but rather notably... No buttons do anything here, so I can't like look around and there's no labels on the rooms And I can't re and I also can't highlight them to find out what they are So that makes the map a little limited and a little disappointing I need to find the engine room which I have But I also need to find the dude Crap I forgot to click on the first sun that I saw. Now I kind of have to awkwardly search for a sun. There we are. Thank you. We shoop. Nice little quality of life thing, by the way, that the, uh, they don't replay the intro every time. So, you've come again. I'll remind you that when I first came in here, it showed us an uh, intro of like flying around a building and then I walked through that building and I had to find this room. But now I just warp straight here. Like they knew, I'm like, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to keep making trips back to here. We don't want that to be, to like be miserable, do we? It must have been tough collecting this many. This will be enough. Ooh. By the way, have you ever had any doubts? about why I am so interested in collecting these things. <laughs> I'll show you the answer to that question. This is the rock of all miracles. It has the power to grant you any wish. The greatest treasure of mankind. It is the Devil's Red Stone. This stone belongs to you. We shall meet again when your fate with the other red stone comes to an end. When that time comes, we shall meet again. It's like the Philosopher's Stone, huh? It's like more or less the idea. Oh, he's just gone. I'm, I'm happy there's closure, or like there's a, this finality. He very specifically says, this is the last one, we're all done. He gives you a, a, a knife and then vanishes. I'm like, okay, I guess I saved everyone. So if nothing else, this is like, I've done, I've, it's like Majora's Mask. It's like, I've gotten all the, all, I got all the masks. And so I got the super mask that says you got all the masks. Actually rather fitting. This game does almost function as a midpoint between Eternal Darkness and Majora's Mask, while being maybe older than both of them? I think this game came out in the 90s and Majora's Mask came out in like 2000 or something, right? And Eternal Darkness was obviously much later because that was an Xbox game. But uh, the DNA it shares is interesting, or that it feels like it shares. I feel like I'll end up kind of craving anything that kind of feels like Majora's Mask because that was such an interesting, cool experience that I kind of want Zelda to revisit because that was a really interesting structure. We've essentially saved everyone. Nope, that's the passenger one. So this is the engine room. Yeah, they even give me a save point right here. That seems rather pointed. Engine room key, blue stone, bullet, red book. <clears throat> I like how I've had fancy clothes this whole time that I can take on, take put on or take off. And that seems, I don't know if that ever came up. When did I need to dress nice? Was there somebody that would have rejected me if I wasn't wearing them? 
It's there's only one other item you can equip besides the dress suit, which is the rubber gloves. But the rubber gloves only gets used once, and that's before you have the dress suit. So there's no reason to switch out of the dress suit. So maybe there's like somebody who would have treated me differently if I looked like an urchin or something. But I never knew it just because there was no reason to take it off. And maybe I found the suit before I met the NPC, maybe? Maybe it affects my corpse. That'd be interesting. Not that interesting, but it'd be a, a good detail if the my body that dumps out of the painting looked different if I'm wearing the dress suit or not wearing the dress suit. It'd be a little confusing. The poor police officer is like, where'd he go? And then I fall out of a painting in front of him like, well, this is con confusing. And also he's wearing different clothes now. That's also confusing. <clears throat> But yeah, I have the- so I have the red knife, slash redstone, and I have the blue stone, which they're supposed to, like, defeat each other, right? But also... I- th I think it's not unreasonable to think that the, uh... It felt like they were implying the redstone was, like, a one-of-a-kind special thing, so the fact that I just have another one now is... a bit of a surprise, that there's just another one. Well, this is the telegraph. Old book. So let's revisit the the core thing here before I go in. Legend of Fate and Two Stones. Heretofore, I have always believed that every human was born with a destiny. Our fate was ordained. I have here a very interesting legend. It speaks of two stones that can change one's destiny. The red stone was said to be a container that held the power to change destiny. The holder of the stone could mold destiny to their liking by sacrificing the lives of people. So the redstone lets you change reality by killing people. And we did just get, we did just take a bunch of souls, 26 of them, and merge them together to make another red stone. It definitely comes across as like being like the philosopher's stone to some extent. If not the real one from legend, then at least the one from Fumel Alchemist. Once the holder of the stone obtains its power, they have the ability to rule kingdoms and obtain great wealth. The legend speaks of the blue stone. Little of the blue stone. The blue stone is said to exist as the opposite of the red stone. The legend also mentions a few rules to follow in order to maintain a strong destiny. One of the rules is not to sacrifice too many lives to the red stone. Another of the rules is to never combine the blue stone with the red stone. A little ambiguous here, huh? So, don't sacrifice quote-unquote too many lives, whatever that means. But then, yeah, combining the two, I bet it nullifies them, or maybe it just destroys reality, who knows. It is unknown what fate will, will bring upon us when these rules are broken. There's not a single mention of its aftermath. So, we need not even the book knows. And I have them right here in my pockets, like I could just accidentally combine them because I'm holding both at once, which seems dangerous. But also, the enemy has one. There's two red stones in play, and that's just not a re that's not a thing I was expecting to be a possibility. <laughs> Speaking of claustrophobic, face mashed into wall. It's a narrow enough view that you often can't tell what you're looking at. It's easy to lose track of which door you're facing in a hallway. Get turned around, go back in the door you just came out of. This must be a map of the engine rooms. The location of the valve and key are indicated. Location of valve and key, what? Orpheus security information. <clears throat> Oh no. Maybe it's a consequence of the low resolution, but I see typos like crazy here. It says secul seculity information. Not information. There's both of them don't have an R actually. Hmm. We are here. Oh, I can suddenly navigate a map. Keep working piston system while pouring fuel into boiler. <clears throat> so while I feel while you put fuel in, it has to be moving the piston. We are here. The key is apparently here in this room. Then down in this room is where the wheel is, the crank. Hmm. Caution. Do not lock the pistons while the boiler is on. The pressure will become extremely dangerous. 
Should such an event occur, the emergency lights will turn on in all sectors. So that's what I have to do, right? Lock the pistons while the boiler is on? I'm gonna get chased by a ghost that I can only defeat by... turning on the emergency lights. Like, the light is too important in this game for it to be... for this to be not a clear clue what to do. So I need to lock the... piston. What ghost is left to chase me? My dad? I defeated the king. Richard, come over here. My dad's gonna murder me. There's a keyhole. What does it say? Oh, piston console. I don't have a key, do I? Not a single one. I have so many items now. So I don't have the piston key. Didn't it seem to imply the key was in the room I was currently in? But I didn't see anything. The atmosphere is so solid in this game. The spooky ass environment. The specifics of the way that you like awkwardly walk around with very audible footsteps with jittery visuals on a PS1 game. There's awkwardness to it, but it definitely feels like this is more fitting for their control scheme than like the action RPGs that they were usually making. I finally understand now, Richard. I realized it the moment I killed William and got hold of the Red Stone. I had the strongest desire for this power all along. I will become one with this power. The Blue Stone, even it shall succumb to my powers in this darkness. Um... There is no light here. Not even you or your blue stone will survive. Rude. Oh. There's a strong power emanating from the red stone. If only there if there was only light here. Oh fuck. Uh Uh I think my dad leave this alone. Hurry. Bring light. What? Oh, I thought they're telling me not to leave. I'm like, what? I can do something here? I just... I'm sorry. I went on this whole adventure without a flashlight, which would have really come in handy. In a very... Like, for a number of reasons, would have been very nice to have a flashlight this whole time. Alright, my dad's dead, I think. And what came out of him looked like William again? But his face was... blotched out, maybe? It's hard to tell. Won't open. Uh, I'm probably gonna lose the first time by screwing up, like where I'm going. I immediately don't really remember how the map went or where I am. There's a control panel for the fuel tank. Ow. Uh, I don't think I have that. Ouchie. Is he here? How did I take so much damage just now? Yep, he's here. Oh yeah, that's, that's Alexander. He's got the blood. 
Why is his body what's coming after me right now? Did he possess my dad? Like, he's even got the blood on him still. That's weird. I don't see anything on these. Oop, is that an item? Oh, that's important. Ugh. You're supposed to make Half-Life 3! Obligatory valve jokes. Okay. It won't open. This is clearly- Ah, hidden door! Uh, it looks like flesh walls in here. It's probably rust. The fuck am I supposed to do in here? Oh no. Have I been trapped? Am I fucked? These are surprisingly dodgeable. Ow. I guess we're gonna make good use out of all these healing items now. Cause this dude's just gonna keep chasing me. What a pizza shit. Oh, he goes through walls! Like a ghost. <laughs> like some sort of ghost. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, once I saw I'd walked into a stupid dead end, I really was like, oh, this is it, huh? <laughs> Guess I'm fucked. Alright, so I need to find fuel. And then I need to jam the pistons that are being that the fuel's being used with. Or something. So I need fuel and a key. Key? Piston key. He's coming through the walls! Honestly though, the fact that he goes through walls is good news, because it means he doesn't come from the door. Which means he's actually, I'm actually more likely to have a clear path than I am when he normally comes after me. It looks like there's a little mechanical bird <laughs> on the various spots. It's just a weird visual. That's the door that's locked, right? The one that's the next one after that one. This takes me back to the key? Yeah. The keyhole. Keyhole? Uh. Emergency, don't touch. You can't tell me what to do. I am a person, you are a sign. Just ignore the fact that doing- telling me what to do is basically all you can do. Uh. Uh. Where fuel? That didn't even seem to accomplish anything. What? Back to the red crystal. Blue crystal. Nope. I think it's too strong until I get the, uh... The fuel or something? Until I get the lights, but uh, the, the, uh... How do I get fuel? Wait, I have a valve. Where's the valve go? Shit. Oh, right. The, uh... Mm, fuck, where- wait. How did I get this turned around? Okay. Right, the, uh... The, the fuel room. I needed a... The, it, it was like a diamond-shaped opening, which I, I guess must be where the, uh... I'm getting really turned around. That must be where the valve goes, right? Wait, this is dead... Wait, where am I? I think there's multiple square-shaped rooms like this one that look similar. I'm not totally sure. I keep getting confused about where I am. Fuck. <laughs> How do I get back to the, fu the fuel room I was just at recently? Is this a different one? This is a different one. Because <clears throat> I already turned the other one, unless it resets every time I look at it. Nope. That's what's fucking with me. There's two of this room that look similar. Because when I ran across the bridge, I was like, wait, where am I? 
Because, like, I went to turn left, and you saw that. I crossed the bridge, got to the key, the keyhole, turned to left, and then there wasn't a path there. I'm like, what? But I was just here, and turning left worked then. Ah, it's that side of the ship. It's not... You can't go around in a circle. Which I think the map expressed. Yeah, here we are. It was just a little hard to keep track of. It won't open. <clears throat> All right, so there's what? Two of these to match the two upstairs. The two pistons, two fuels. I think our goal is to exterminate it. We're supposed to defeat the guy who might turn the lights, the emergency lights on. And then we can defeat the gem. But then I'll probably have to run, because the ship's probably going to be dying. Because I'm blowing it the fuck up, I think. Which is very true to how survival horror games tend to end, is you exploding the entire place and running away. Or just dying, or losing your mind. Depends on if they want to have a good ending or not. You definitely can't... It doesn't seem like you can avoid that much damage here. Because he's just coming after you. What were these? I don't remember what where, what's here. Have I been here yet? Oh, it's this area. Okay, so that's, that's the first mistake I made, is I found the valve in there and then didn't immediately just turn around and use the valve. Oh, that's where the key was. Where is he? Did the lights come on already? I'm not super sure. It feels bright in here. I'm not hearing pistons. Or anything especially machine-y. Oh yeah, no, they're they're going. Are they are they all stuck? Is that them all being jammed? Are we good? Force field's gone. That's good. Hey, dickwad. The stone's power has been alleviated. Blue. Oh, it's growing. Oh, that was trippy. The power to change destiny. Gone. Forever. You're welcome. This place won't last long. Hurry. Run to the front of the ship. Oh. God, no. I don't even know how to get out of this zone in 90 seconds, let alone the front of the ship. Where the fuck am I? I'm 
No. Maybe this way. All right, well, get ready. I think we're going to get a bad ending. I was not ready for this. Takes me back to like the panic I felt as like a six year old or whatever when I played the Final Fantasy VII demo disc and it, it ended with like a time limit. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know where I am. Shit. Where's the front of the ship? What does that mean? Like the captain? Oh my god, everything looks the same. I have no idea where I am. I'm definitely gonna not make it. Which probably re means replaying this entire part. Shit. <laughs> oh. This doesn't help! This doesn't help because I don't know where the, where the exit is. It's just a ring. I know that the the I know that the the rooms are vaguely in a ring, but I don't know which spots are interruptions in that ring because there's paths you can't take, despite the apparent shape of the ship. And it doesn't actually show where to get to the next floor. I don't think. Oh my god, I'm back at the key. I thought this was... I, I really thought I was going somewhere. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. This is why later games would unhelpfully have that fucking... Prism stone you can drop on the ground to mark your path, which usually wasn't very necessary. But I would kill for that right about now. If I could have had a way of marking my path as I came in here so I could tell where the fuck I am. The whole fucking floor is symmetrical, but also looks similar. And then it has multiple rooms that are like a ring, but some of them arbitrarily have like interruptions in the path. I was right, I couldn't even leave this area in time. <laughs> Anchor City Journal. A house was set ablaze in the 15th of, in peaceful Ar Anchor City. Half the house was gutted before firefighters intervened. No casualties reported, but the owner, Henry Osmond, is listed missing. Cool, I love one that just auto proceeds. Richard Osmond, the house's the house owner's son, was called in by Anchor City. He too disappeared while investigating the charred house. Don't oh god, it's gonna score me. Superior. Dude, how many? Wait, 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 wait. How many secrets are in this game? Secrets? Oh, maybe they just mean like you found a potion in a drawer or something. I only found like half of them. I guess that's why they're called secrets. But holy shit! I guess that one weird dead end rust colored room was probably a secret. That time I opened a wall. And then the boss chased me in, and it was really unhelpful, and there was no reward. Uh, I guess there might be secrets like that. I know that the, uh... My completion thing said 90%. Intelligence, though. How the fuck are you scoring that? That's rude. 
but also what is Wait, what does physical mean? Is that just an exercise meter? Like my pedometer? Like and how much I ran around? Is that my physical meter? Why am I think because of all things this game has a pedometer, which what what is that? Have <laughs> have things to score. Such a strange inclusion. Well. All right, it's gonna take me a while to record this finale. <laughs> let's uh, let's go replay that level and try to tell where the where I am better in the meantime. All right, so we're coming up on the last key location, and I'm gonna try to and I'm gonna try to fix the problem this time because last time, as far as I can tell, I think I fundamentally misunderstood what I was supposed to do because it said to go to the front of the ship. And, you know, it's like, oh, it's an exploding segment. Like, oh, the ship's exploding, like in a, like in a raccoon game. <laughs> a raccoon game? A Resident Evil game in Raccoon City. Like, oh, you go into the evil lab, you get to the bottom of it, it blows up, you're like, oh, time limit, run away. But, like, as far as I can tell, I don't think that's really what was going on here. Uh, when they said to go to the front of the ship, they meant, like, go to the front of the ship. Like, here-ish. Uh, what do I have to do for this part? Oh, I just was, wasn't close enough. So, like, I was trying- I was so confusing getting turned around and running in circles and not getting anywhere because I was trying to go upstairs. You know, I figured, oh, the front deck of the ship where I'll, like, get rescued maybe? Or maybe I'll jump off the boat? To change destiny. Gone. Forever. This place won't last long. Hurry, run to the front of the ship. Yeah, like I didn't question that instruction. It seemed really straightforward and logical. Oh yeah, the front of the ship. I should go there. Let's go back. Let's figure out how to get back where I came from and run upstairs and maybe someone will rescue me or maybe there'll be some way to get off or maybe I'll just jump off the ship because this place is I'm gonna die if I'm here. Like, it's just a very logical sequence. But he means... Uh, the, the mistake was thinking that the, that it would be a logical, normal, human ending. It's like, no, you go to the front of the ship... ...on this floor. <laughs> it's like, one of these doors that doesn't open, I think, takes me back to the rest of the game, but I can't go back to the rest of the game, I don't think. The quote-unquote front of the ship... ...was where I found the valve, I think. I'm like, technically that's the front. It's not where you'd want to go in this kind of emergency as far as I'm aware. I don't think there's a way out of a ship in this kind of place. A little weird. I've come as I have promised. Come now inside the sun. That's definitely the medium. He said inside the sun, so that door must be the front of the ship, and this must be the sun. So this is probably an optional thing you unlock by getting every single soul? As he shows up in the creepy room? Hello. You know, maybe you're not a good guy, actually. I told you that I would come, didn't I, Richard? Behold, you stand before the most omnipotent power man has ever witnessed. The power to shape your fate to your desire with your very own hands. Here, take it with you. <laughs> Richard, I wonder what you'll wish for. I can hardly wait. <laughs> okay, yeah, I take back any any benefit of the doubt I gave that guy. He's definitely like some kind of frampt or whatever. He's definitely <laughs> this he's definitely a bad guy, and it's definitely bad to make the 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 knife. But like saving everyone's a good thing, right? Oh. This ship's life is coming to an end. So this door is what they meant by the front of the ship. As opposed to going upstairs and like, jumping off the bow. This ship will disappear soon. You are not supposed to. 
supposed to be here. Go home now. Everything is over. so bright hey hey wake up are you listening it's getting late there's nothing here let's go <sighs> hey so the ship vanished like last time but this time I made it I made it home Knife. I have the knife. So I've escaped. I've taken... It's like, one, I went to the ship and I set everything straight and made things better for all those people. But I also extracted the knife from it. Also, my dad's dead. Turns out he was alive, but now he's dead. So, surprise. He, he's dead, but not the dead of the fire that he was supposed to be. He's dead of the, of the evil crystal. From the ship that nobody, I can't tell anyone about because no one will ever believe me. But taking the evil knife from there and having it survive is probably only a bad thing. So I've basically made a net negative by investigating when if I just didn't do it. Well, I, I did save people, but they are, they potentially world doomed maybe in the first place because of the knife. So having the knife live on is bad. Although it does open up for sequels. There's a lantern. I could have used that this entire goddamn game, by the way. Well then. What the hell? Damn. What the hell? What a weird that was a weird line. I just stabbed him with a knife. Did I? It just ends! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I thought it was a magic evil knife that grants wishes. I just fucking stabbed him with it. <laughs> like a normal knife. Which admittedly is the primary thing we saw that knife do throughout the game, was just stab people, but isn't it supposed to be powerful or something? People keep just stabbing people with it. Is this a universe where, like, knives don't exist? They're like, oh my god, what power. It's like... Sharp. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. Did I get I didn't get credits last time, did I? Was that, like, the indication that it was a bad ending? That I didn't get credits? Or did I skip and forget? I recorded the bad ending like... Days ago, or a week ago, I don't know. Because of how lost I was, I was kind of dreading finishing this game. I was like, ah... Uh, I don't really want to replay that level. Because you have to start the whole level over, and... There's like a whole sequence to it. And in particular, I wasn't entirely sure where to go, so if I couldn't find my way out, I might have to replay it again. It turns out the place you have to go to is actually really easy to get to within the time limit. You just have to understand what they mean by the front of the ship. But not knowing that, I was definitely like, oh god. Uh, uh. I was kind of dreading it in a way where if it wasn't for a YouTube series, I might have been like, eh, and just not bothered. 
beating the game again and just maybe looked up the ending on YouTube or something instead of replaying that level. But it actually was because I was just... I made it harder, as often happens. Still, with, the, with these clunky controls and samey environment of that particular basement and stuff like that, like, having a exploding action set piece time limit is like a little rough. It's like, that's not what anyone's here for. So, kind of true to my instinct, I wasn't exactly missing out on anything by, like, gameplay-wise. Like, that, that was just like a, eh, level. Secrets. There we go. There's actually kind of an example of a better clue midway through when they're like, go to the sun. Uh, but that's only when you're already at the sun, practically. But when he says to come into the sun, it's like, oh, there's a trap. There is a secret door with the sun on it. But the front of the ship is like, go to that one nondescript locked door in a series of hallways where there's actually multiple nondescript locked doors. But that one's over there. Reg recognize that that's the front of the ship. And don't try to escape the ship the way a person would, which is to get to the parts where you can actually leave. It's like, eh. It's not a it's not a huge deal breaker, but it's like I didn't I didn't that communication led to an undue amount of confusion where I'm just like where do I go and then getting stressed out by the time limit and being like what am I doing wrong I've been everywhere haven't I all right I'm gonna replay the finale for the third time and uh, we'll see if I can get a good ending by just not going to the sun. Because, yeah, there's some mixed stuff here where it's like saving everyone feels like a good thing, but the knife that you get for it is definitely a bad thing. So maybe I can get through this in a way where I don't take the knife, but still get saved by Kreia. So I give the blue crystal to the, the red crystal, which should consume it and neutralize it, and then it just blinks out of existence. The power to change destiny gone forever this place won't last long hurry run to the front of the ship i almost wonder if like the sh if like the uh the red crystal was about to be lost to time and space so it created this entire fantasy location just to hold on to reality long enough or the ship was being held together in some way by someone's wishes with this with the knife so it falls apart when you get rid of that is it well the machinery stuff you do sabotages the ship too so eh so much for that theory really but basically I helped a bunch of people move on which is good but like I and I also destroyed destroyed the crystal with the blue crystal which is great but I also in the process of helping everyone made a second knife so it's back again. I've made a new Philosopher's Stone, and that's fucky. So it needs to die here. Ideally, I guess I would have helped all those people and then not given... I, I should have just not given the uh, blade... Not given the souls to him. It says, come into the sun. So I'm going to ignore him this time, and that should hopefully not result in me being an er evil murder boy. This ship will disappear soon. You are not supposed to be here. Go home now. Everything is over.
Hey. Hey. Wake up. Are you listening? It's getting late. There's nothing here. Let's go. Sigh. <laughs> Just found me sleeping in a burned out house. Like normal people do. He's gone. Don't look so depressed. Your father might just show up one day, right? No. Well, let's get out of here. Damn it, this piece of shit won't start. Can you grab the tools out of the trunk? Is there gonna be. Oh my god! Well, these don't seem like good endings at all. Uh, I think I trapped myself into bad endings. Damn you, Frampt. Or Kath. I never remember which one's which. I think they're both bad, so fuck it. Uh, so I, th I guess the, the goodest ending is probably to save everybody. But then either don't pick up their soul gems or just don't give them to the medium. But I've already done that, so I can't go back. <laughs> so, whatever the goodest ending is would require me to go back to a long time ago, which I might not even have a save that far back, but I'm definitely not gonna sit here and replay hours of the game just for one cutscene. This, like, I can't escape this, the knife that easily, apparently. This was, this was neat. I like this. You, I could definitely sit here and nitpick some stuff or complain or just, or even just talk about how it aged if I really wanted to, but it just doesn't really summon much ire. I'm, like, this game doesn't really have much to complain about. Like, the visuals are dated because it's PS1, but it's, like, dated in a really specific way that's, like, really charming and, and actually atmospheric. Like, in a way that horror games are often still made to this day because there's such a specificness to the aesthetic of PS1 games that's cool. So, like, visually it's really neat, actually. The controls are not good. Which is a problem with all the old From Software PS1, or specifically all the all the From Software first-person games seem to all have really not great controls. Uh, that's just across the board, really. But this is one of the le one of the cases where that matters the least out of all the ones that I know about because it's not an action RPG. It's mostly just an adventure game with no with no almost no time limit or stakes most of the time and only the briefest little horror encounters with monsters sometimes that are usually easy to escape, even with the awkward controls. Like, I had so many healing items. Not not even counting the ones you get from all the uh, souls, which I had, like, more than 20 of. I still had, like, seven more cures that I just found everywhere. But, like, it's not really meant to be that much of a hard thing. Just the lack of clarity about the final objective made it so that that one time the time limit led to a start over where I had to replay an entire level, which it takes a bit, because you, you have to solve that whole area to do that level. Uh, but no, the, on, the only really, really big glaring thing is definitely just the, the choice to include gambling. Like, don't... <laughs> don't include fucking mandatory gambling in order to get, like, in order to save everybody. Like, Jesus Christ, don't do that. <laughs> That's why I, I'm so confused by the inclusion of that part of the game and just thinking about the fact that this whole playthrough as you can see there took like six hours like I, I probably spent more than three hours gambling that's such a huge percentage of the overall time I spent with this game was just in that one room doing something that has nothing to do with the game overall and that's just miserable to be clear, that's not half my playthrough because it's like of those six hours down there it wasn't three of those because I had to keep reloading my save, so that didn't that didn't count towards my overall play time. Uh, but it was just a... Uh, it took so long, and I was so unhappy, and I just didn't need those feelings, because I was liking I was liking this game. So just I can't, uh, I'm so confused by the ch that, the choice there. You get some from software flavor with the the storytelling here where it's that really specific brand that a number of games also had even outside their games of course obviously but uh 
where they had a like the this atmospheric dark vague intensity i say vague in that you just you 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 pick up just enough to know that there are stakes and this is important and there's dark shit going on and there's like weight to everything that makes everything feel important and kind of keeps compelling you forward and out of curiosity but at the same time much like later dark souls games and whatnot you're just kind of like not entirely sure what exactly is happening at least with parts of the story it's not you're, there's, there's a, a mysteriousness although this is a more concrete story than they would go on to make in the future where things were a lot harder to push together in entire YouTube channels made careers out of trying to explain the story to people because the game didn't really like to do that itself. <laughs> uh, the puzzles aren't like mind-blowing, but they're all pretty serviceable and neat, and they're varied, and you do different things in different contexts, and it kind of keeps it fresh a bit. Uh, definitely no big huge whoa moments that like put it in like a pantheon of puzzle games or anything, but also they deftly, I as far as I can remember at least, I didn't write, I'm not taking notes or anything i believe they carefully avoided doing any stupid elder puzzles like a towers of hanoi or lights out or the stupid three buckets of water challenge that resident evil likes to use and so on or uh a lot of other ones and so on uh no crossword there's no like a there's no sudoku no sliding tile and so on and so forth uh just the strain, although in some cases, in some ways, including gambling, is the elderest puzzle of them all. No, it, that, that's a, like a non sequitur mistake. That was that was a huge, what was this? But aside from the gambling, which I've already talked about, like there's not really any highlight. God, I can't believe this is in this game moments. So it's all around like a, just a neat, a neat gem to dig up that almost nobody knows exists and I barely knew existed and now I know what the game is and I can be like yeah Echo Knight you know that game on the PS1 <laughs> the first person horror adventure game by From Software that's like 999 without all of the horrible visual novel in that gumming up the works just the part where you do an escape room on a ship and stuff and so on yeah well this was Echo Knight see you guys next time